All right, guys, and welcome back to Cyberpunk 2077. I've got something a little... I've got something a little special for you today. And it's a link all the way back to the 2013 teaser trailer we saw at the E3 2013 live shows. This was an iconic video at the time. You may remember a certain lady surrounded by MaxTac officers. She was on her knees with bullets hailing down upon her. All the bullets got destroyed on impact, but one memorably grazes her cheek. Well, she was a cyber psycho, armed with mantis blades, and a clip from the news tells us that she killed 14 people before she was captured. But at the end of the trailer, she ends up getting recruited by MaxTac to serve the public of Night City and check out that helmet. Today, we're going to reunite with Mantis Blade Lady, because we don't have a name for her. So we'll just call her that for now. So I've come all the way downtown. I'll show you exactly where I am on the map because this is important. Um, it is right here. Um, I'll just zoom out again. You've got the central circle location. Then come over to this street right here. And you will come to uh, a clothing store, which is not marked as a clothing store on the map, called Jinguji. I hope that's how you pronounce it. But we're going to go inside. Um, the police forces couldn't stop her, and that's when they called in the Max Tac units, sometimes referred to as Psycho Squad. Now, what turns out, I'll explain a little bit later. But we're going to go in here and buy something, anything, to trigger this particular mission. Welcome to Jinguji. Why, thank you very much, sir. I think I'll take a quick save here, just in case. Because ah, I know what's about to happen. Is. What a lovely surprise. I'd almost forgotten that pretty face. And what a pity that would be. Welcome okay. back to our little oasis of elegance. Now, what can I do for you today? Maybe a little upgrade? Hmm? Sequins are back, you know. Okay, let's speak to uh, Zane. And, uh, well, a little quiet in here? Looking a little empty these days. What can I say? Jinguji is about quality, not quantity. Now... Just between the two of us, a touch of elegance can go a long way. Yeah, I got your point, mate. I mean, you do look you do look pretty good. So I've got to buy something from this gentleman. I don't want to spend too much of my money, so I'm just going to buy the cheapest thing that's here. That should be enough to trigger what is about to happen next. Awesome. Guards, get the door! Hold look at this. There. We're in I trouble. Hold on. Fuck Whoa, me. okay. Look at the guards. They're doing their best, but I think I'm going to have to do something better. Don't let him kill me. All right, he's down to 66% health, going for the kill, Johnny. Look at this guy. He's insane. Okay, we're doing all right. Oh, but look who's coming. Surround him. Do him in. Oh, look at these guys. Contact. Who are you Contact. frightened of now? But look at her. I'm, go, I'm, I'm just going to hang back and let them do this. Fire. Just so you can see her in action. They're absolutely destroying go, go, go. him. <laughs> He's gone. Secure the witnesses. Just had to go play dutiful consumer in a corpus. Now look here, you who remember? we've got here. How could I forget? You over there. Statements now. Finally. Just have to mop this gunk up. We'll be back in business. Situation resolved. Deactivate alarm. Nice. Well, this is apparently Sit. Hands where I can see him. Okay, I'm gonna sit. I'll talk, I promise. I'm sorry. In accordance with Article 105 of the Cyber Psychosis Procedure Code, your statements will be recorded and retained. Melissa Rory, Max Tax Senior Officer. Please state your name and occupation. Melissa. Zane Jagger. I work for Jinguji, an oasis of elegance. It, sorry, habit. V. Merck. Occasional client of Zane's. 
Johnny Silverhand, rock <laughs> legend, voice in V's head. Oh, and fuck also, Johnny. Let me pretend I exist sometimes, okay? Checks out. Please describe what happened starting from the moment of the attack. I was just presenting V with a one-of-a-kind offer. Zane was trying to sweet-talk me into some sparkly sequence shit. Psycho storms in, wipes the hustle. Zane hits the alarm, locks us in with the fucker. Thanks, Zane. Mr. Jagger followed the correct security protocol. He significantly reduced the assailant's range of effectiveness. Yeah, noted. Play cat and mouse around the whole range of effectiveness before you lot showed up. <laughs> Anything else? Unusual behavior? Besides slicing and dicing my people in this store's reputation? No, nothing at all. Thank you for your cooperation. That is all. Coroner's been notified. Be here any minute. Right, Jagger, well, I guess. Are this we store done? is closed until the investigation is complete. Hey, V. Once we clean this place up, come by whenever you like. I'll handpick something special just for you. Smith, report. Thanks. How's it looking? Later, Zane. Two killed, two wounded inside the store, six bodies on the. Now, nice work. Here's the thing. You feel that back there? Feel his life leave his body? Look at th the way she's talking. She's you can tell she's psychotic. Those mantis blades, are they Higurashi's? Hold up a sec. Your mantis blades. Higurashi 2013s. Weren't those pulled off the market in 69? Recall they don't play well with neural processors poking a part of the prefrontal cortex they shouldn't be poked at. Probably would have bought a pair myself weren't for that. Good eye. Had them installed years ago. They're very precise. <laughs> huh. Thought MaxTech preferred our soccer blades as their standard issue. But, well, seeing how you handle these wrist razors. They're my reminder. When I see them, I see what they've sliced muscle, tendon, bone, even implants. Like a hot knife through butter. But you're with the good guys now, right? Well, there you go. So that's the admission. So she, 2013 there, that's such a cool thing because that's exactly when this, this trailer was released. And uh, yeah, and she's talking like she enjoys killing. You always just wipe them? You know, her therapy can sometimes work. Apprehending the target alive carries additional risk for bystanders. Rarely done. Very rarely. Rarely? More like never. How many psychos you saved in your life? Don't change the subject. You felt him die. Did you like it? <laughs> that split second when the blood still flows, but his light's gone out? Uh, no, I'm not you. Oh, oh actually, come on, let's get her. Let's get her talking down this path. Maybe, maybe a little. Well, the adrenaline's all right, but don't think I share your level of enthusiasm. You love the hunt, you love the kill. Don't matter if they're psychos or regular Joes. Oh, we're not so different, you and I. Saw that look on your face right after. You can't hide it. Join us. Could use a few more like you. Oh, wow, look at that. She's asking me to, to join. I'm I'm tempted, um, but Max Tag isn't kind of my future path. I'll think about it. I'm not going to say no outright, because, well, maybe she'll talk more. Me, a cop? <laughs> Last time I wanted that was pushing six, maybe. Yeah, I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll think about it. You do that. You certainly got a gift. Now, the cool thing is that when we saw that bullet graze her cheek in the, uh, in the trailer, I showed you a minute ago, hopefully. Um, they've covered her face, and it's so frustrating that you just feel like if we could just confirm... I mean, it is her. It's definitely her. It's been confirmed anyway. But if we could just see that little graze on her cheek, wouldn't that be a nice touch? Maybe she'll come back into the story when they release all the content they actually intended to bring into the game. Now, I thought I'd be able to speak to somebody. I, I obviously speak into her. But what it doesn't tell you is about how she joined the unit. And that's what I was hoping to do. And that's another nice touch, is that the mission was called Bullets. 
And that was the actual soundtrack that was used from the original trailer in 2013. Looks like there's some justice in the world after all. My little Merc wants to play dress up like a corpo. Then all of a sudden the cyber psycho kicks down on the shop's door. Coincidence? Sure, probably a delightful one. I hope you learn a valuable lesson today. That is, if you survive the end of it. Well, we got through it. And uh, remember I'm playing on very hard, so hey, I must be really good at this game now. Um, so I'm surprised I can't speak to anybody else. But it was very, very cool speaking to our max tech lieutenant here. Okay, I've just run away from the shop to see if I can trigger this text message, which I'm supposed to get from the shop owner, which will tell me a little bit more about that officer. Um, our friend, the cyber psycho turned max tech officer. How are you doing, fella? What do I say? Looters will be shot. Oh, here we go. We've got a message from Zane. By the way, my gratitude. Together with a discount in the package, stop by Jinjuji or Jinguji and we'll choose something Nova for you. Even now if you want, or maybe in an hour. Don't keep me in your debt longer than necessary. By the way, do you have a sweet tooth for gossip? I found some very interesting deets about the Max Tac officer that questioned us. This is exactly what I was waiting for. Okay, uh, yeah, hit me. I couldn't help thinking I saw her somewhere, so I checked the N54 News archive, and what do you know? She was a cyber psycho. On January the 14th, she killed 14 people. Her name's Melissa Rory. They reconditioned her and forced her to join, forced her to join the MaxTac. Ironic twist of fate. Oh, I didn't know, I didn't know they forced her to do it. Um, okay. No shit, and they're not scared she might fly off the handle again. She seemed weirdly excited about that bloodbath in the store. Yeah, exactly. As long as she protects me against psychos, she can get a kick out of anything for all I care. Anyway, see you in my bastion of taste and refinement. Wow, what a cool mission. A nice Easter egg. And, uh, well, back when all our hopes and dreams for this game uh, were absolutely at their max. We are now where we are with Cyberpunk 2077. It's still a good game. It really is. And, and I've loved, I have loved playing it so far. And it's a lot, I'm not done. What's I mean, by any means, I'm not done. Um, but I know it's far from what we hoped it would be. I would say the best way to describe Cyberpunk 2077 right now is it's in an alpha state. And as they patch it, they add more content, more features. Um, it will become the game we all want it to be and I don't mind that so much I'm pretty easy to please I've had so much fun with this game so far and long may it continue I hope it becomes something that gets uh, patched over and over again and well not patched <laughs> the last patch actually sort of created a few more bugs for me which is a little frustrating but I hope it gets more content more DLC and as they've said it will be free when it comes and uh, they are duty bound to provide that for us I cannot wait. There you go, guys. Um, that was a nice little Easter egg. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you in the next one for more from Cyberpunk 2077, or should we say 2013. Good night, guys.